Hello everyone and welcome back. This is the second part of the video on analysis of frames and if you haven't watched the first part I suggest you to watch it first because I have explained a few basic principles of analysis of frames in that video and that you will find very useful in understanding the solution to the problem in this video. In this problem we have a frame which has two members AC and BD. BD is a two force member and ABC is a multi force member and we have to find the force acting on member ABC at point B and at C. I am going to skip the first step of drawing a BD of the entire frame and determining the reaction forces at the supports and I will tell you the logic behind this in a moment. Instead of analyzing the entire frame, I would dismember the entire frame and draw a BD of the two members BD and ABC. BD is not a straight member. Nevertheless, it is a two force member. The forces due to interaction with member AC at point B and the support at D forces acting on this member would be in a direction along this line joining the two points B and D. Question is whether the forces would be pointing away from each other or they would be pushing the points B and D towards each other that is opposite to what has been shown here. We do not know the nature of force in this member whether it is tensile or compressive. So, we, we will assume that there is a tension force in this member and therefore, the forces acting at points B and D would be acting away from each other as shown here in this diagram. Also note, these two forces are of equal magnitude and having opposite direction and the names of these two forces are the same. Now, point B of this member is connected to member ABC and therefore, the force acting on the member ABC at point B would be in a direction which is opposite to this and its name will be the same as this. So, a force FB in the direction as BD acts at point B. In addition, there are two support reactions in horizontal and vertical directions named Cx and Cy and this is the externally applied force at A. So, this completes the FBD of member ABC. Now, notice here that there are three unknowns. Two unknowns here and we know the direction of FB, but we do not know the magnitude of this force. So, in all there are three unknowns for member ABC and we have three equilibrium equations. So, we can solve all these three unknowns and that is what has been asked in the problem. Knowing that the problem asks us to determine just the two forces acting at B and C, I realize that the FBDs of the two members would provide enough number of equations required to solve the unknowns. I therefore skipped the first step, right? Next, we apply the three equilibrium equations to this member and we first take moment of all the forces about point C and resolve the force FB into horizontal and vertical component. The horizontal component would pass through point C, therefore have no moment about C. Nevertheless, the vertical component of FB will have anti-clockwise moment and this 240 mm would be the moment arm. So, we have FB times 3 upon 5 which is the vertical component of FB times 240 is the moment and similarly this force of 200 newtons magnitude will have anti-clockwise moment about point C and the moment arm would be 90. 
So we can write this equation which will yield Fb as minus 125 Newton. Now the negative sign means that this member is not under tension but in fact is under cooperation and in reality the forces would be acting at points B and D in just the opposite direction and therefore in reality the force acting at B on the member ABC is in this direction opposite to what has been shown here but there is no need to make corrections here in this diagram we can write the value of FB in terms of minus 125 Newton Next, we write the equation sigma fx equal to 0 and that will be cx plus 200 plus fb cos theta which is the x component of fb. This angle is theta which is same as this. Notice here that I have not made any changes in the direction of fb. I have written the value fb as minus 125 Newton. So, you notice here that Fb cos theta, I have taken a positive value and when I plug in the value of Fb, I have taken minus 125, right? So, do not ever make a mistake of changing the direction of these forces whenever you get a result which is negative. Let the direction be shown as it is. And the value could be written in terms of minus some numerical value. So, this gives Cx is minus 100 Newtons. And next, sigma Fy equal to 0 will give Cy, Cy minus the vertical component Fb sin theta equal to 0. And when we have to plug in the value of Fb, we will plug in minus 125. And this equation will yield C y is minus 75 Newton. So, C is minus 100 square plus minus 75 square and that will work out to 125 Newtons. So, what is the direction of C? In reality, C x is in this direction, C y is in vertically downward direction. This is C x this is Cy and therefore C is this force making an angle of theta here which is 36.9 degree and at point B, Fb in reality is this direction, this is Fb, the value is 125 Newtons in this direction opposite direction to what was assumed earlier and the angle it makes 36.9 is the x axis right so these two are the answers for this problem here is another problem of frame analysis and it's slightly different because this frame supports pulleys here I am not going to solve this problem in this video and I strongly suggest you that on the basis of the knowledge that you have acquired now, you can solve it on your own and in case you struggle, come back to this channel and see the next video in which I am going to solve this problem. If you have any questions with regard to the first two problems that we solved in this video, Please do include them in the comment section below and if you are new to the channel, please do subscribe and thanks for watching and see you next time.